Welcome to the global defense battle. India's Nirbhe missile and the UK's Storm Shadow are both advanced cruise missiles designed for precise, long-range strikes. The Nirbhe missile is a subsonic long-range cruise missile developed by India's Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO. Its main purpose is to hit land-based targets deep inside enemy territory with great accuracy. It was inducted into the Indian Armed Forces in 2020 after several test trials. On the other hand, the UK's Storm Shadow missile, developed by MBDA, is an air-launched long-range cruise missile. It is primarily designed for deep strikes against well-defended, high-value targets such as bunkers, airfields, and command centers. Storm Shadow was first inducted into service with the Royal Air Force in 2003. It has been used in various combat scenarios, including the Gulf War and the Libyan conflict, proving its effectiveness in modern warfare. And today, we will compare both of these missiles. India's Nirbhe versus United Kingdom's Storm Shadow. The design of both missiles reflects their purpose of delivering precision strikes. The Nirbhe missile features a cylindrical body with small wings and tail fins for aerodynamic stability during flight. The missile is designed to fly at low altitudes to avoid enemy radar, and its tail fins help maintain stability while maneuvering at subsonic speeds. It has a length of about 6 meters, a diameter of 0.52 meters, and weighs around 1,500 keys. The UK's Storm Shadow, on the other hand, has a more compact and streamlined design. It features a stealthy body with swept-back wings and tail fins that are optimized for air-launched missions. It has a length of around 5.1 meters, a diameter of 0.48 meters, and weighs approximately 1,300 kilos. Both missiles use advanced materials in their design to ensure they are lightweight yet strong enough to endure long flights. Talking about the propulsion and performance, the Nirbhe missile uses a turbojet engine for propulsion, which allows it to cruise at subsonic speeds. The fuel used in Nirbhe is liquid, and the missile is capable of flying at a speed of around 0.7 Mach. It has a maximum range of about 1,000 kilometers, making it suitable for striking targets deep inside enemy territory. Nirbhe operates at low altitudes, typically between 100 meters to 4 kilometers, which helps it avoid radar detection. It is a single-stage missile, which means it does not require multiple stages for propulsion. Instead, its engine sustains it through its entire flight. On the other hand, the UK's Storm Shadow missile uses a turbojet engine as well, but is designed for air launch from fighter aircraft like the Eurofighter Typhoon. It also operates at subsonic speeds, reaching a top speed of around 0.8 Mach. The missile uses liquid fuel and has a maximum range of approximately 560 kilometers. Like Nirbhe, Storm Shadow flies at low altitudes, often as low as 30 meters, to evade enemy defense systems. The missile is a single-stage weapon, with its propulsion system powering it throughout the entire flight path. While Nirbhe has a longer range compared to Storm Shadow, their range is influenced by their intended roles, Nirbhe being more versatile with a longer reach, while Storm Shadow is optimized for specific air-launched missions. The payload capacities and warhead types of both the missile are key factors in their roles as long-range strike weapons. The Nirbhe missile is designed to carry both conventional and nuclear warheads, giving it dual-purpose flexibility. It has a payload capacity of up to 300 kilograms, and the missile can deliver high explosive, fragmentation, or even nuclear warheads. In its nuclear configuration, Nirbhe can potentially carry a warhead with a yield estimated to be in the range of 12 to 20 kilotons. It is a single warhead missile, meaning it cannot carry multiple warheads. The destruction radius depends on the type of warhead used. For a conventional high-explosive warhead, the blast radius would be around 500 to 1,000 meters, while for a nuclear warhead, the destructive range could extend several kilometers depending on the yield. The UK's Storm Shadow missile, on the other hand, is designed to carry a single large conventional warhead, specifically a 450-kilogram brooch, stand for Bomb Royal Ordnance Augmented Charge Warhead. This warhead is designed to penetrate hardened targets such as bunkers or underground command centers. Storm Shadow does not carry nuclear warheads, as its primary role is to neutralize high-value targets using conventional explosives. The missile cannot carry multiple warheads, and the destruction radius of the Storm Shadow's warhead can be up to 400 to 500 meters, depending on the target and how deeply fortified it is. Regarding guidance system, both missiles employ advanced technology to achieve high accuracy, but they differ in some aspects of their guidance systems and maneuverability. The Nirbhe missile uses a combination of guidance systems to achieve precision. It relies on an inertial navigation system for the initial part of its flight, which helps guide the missile based on its pre-programmed path. 
Additionally, Nearbay uses GPS to correct its course during flight and to enhance its accuracy in reaching the target. The missile is also capable of low-level terrain following, which allows it to fly close to the ground, avoiding radar detection and improving its ability to strike undetected. Nearbay's accuracy is estimated to have a CEP of around 10 to 30 meters. The missile can be maneuvered during flight using its small wings and tail fins, allowing it to adjust its trajectory as needed. On the other hand, the UK's Storm Shadow missile also uses a combination of guidance systems. It is also equipped with an INS, GPS, and a terrain reference navigation system. The missile can compare its surroundings with pre-stored maps to correct its flight path, ensuring a precise strike even in challenging environments. Additionally, Storm Shadow has an imaging infrared seeker in the terminal phase of flight, which provides enhanced target recognition. The CEP of Storm Shadow is very low, estimated to be less than 5 meters, making it one of the most accurate cruise missiles in the world. The missile can also be maneuvered during flight, particularly in the terminal phase, to ensure precise targeting, especially against well-defended high-value targets. Both missile uses similar guidance system and can be maneuvered during flight, but Storm Shadow's use of an infrared seeker gives it an edge in terminal accuracy. The launch vehicles and deployment methods for both the missiles reflect their strategic roles and how quickly they can be put into action. The Nirbhe missile is launched from mobile platforms, which gives it a high degree of flexibility in deployment. It is typically launched from a mobile transporter erector launcher, which can be moved to different locations, making it harder for enemy forces to track and target the missile. Nirbhe can be readied and launched relatively quickly, with a response time of a few hours, depending on how close the launch site is to the operation area and how rapidly the launch crew can prepare the system. In contrast, the UK's Storm Shadow missile is an air-launched weapon, typically deployed from fighter jets like the Eurofighter Typhoon or Tornado GR-4. Since it is dependent on aircraft for deployment, the response time for Storm Shadow depends on the readiness of the aircraft and the distance from the target. Storm Shadow is not deployed from fixed or mobile ground launchers. Instead, it relies entirely on the aircraft for delivery, which also means the missile can be launched from a variety of locations as long as the aircraft has access to an airstrip or an aircraft carrier. Coming to the cost, for the Nearbay missile, the development costs were relatively moderate compared to many other cruise missiles. DRDO began developing Nearbay in the early 2000s, and the project faced several delays and trials, which added to the overall costs. The estimated development cost for the Nearbay program is around $120 million. As for production, the estimated cost per Nearbay missile is about $1.2 to $1.8 million. The Storm Shadow missile, on the other hand, is more expensive in all aspects due to its sophisticated technology and multinational development. The development cost is estimated to be approximately $1.8 billion shared between multiple European countries. The production cost per Storm Shadow missile is significantly higher than that of Nearbay, estimated to be around $1 million to $1.4 million per unit. The higher production cost is due to its complex design and use of advanced materials. The operational status of the Nearbay and Storm Shadow missiles varies in terms of the number of units produced. For India's Nearbay missile, as of recent reports, it has been successfully inducted into the Indian Armed Forces, but the exact number of units in active service is not publicly available due to defense confidentiality. However, estimates suggest that India has produced a limited number of Nearbay missiles, primarily for testing and initial operational capability. The missile is still considered to be in the early stages of mass production, with plans to increase its numbers for active deployment over the coming years. Nirbhay has not been exported to any other country, as it is a strategic asset developed for India's national defense. The focus remains on producing enough units for domestic use before considering potential exports. In contrast, the UK's Storm Shadow missile has been in operational service for a longer period, and several hundred units have been produced since its induction in 2003. The exact number of active Storm Shadow missiles is not publicly disclosed, but estimates suggest that over 1,000 units have been produced for the UK and allied nations. Storm Shadow has also been exported to several countries, including France, Italy, Saudi Arabia, and Greece, making it a widely used missile system within NATO and allied forces. The missile remains in active production to fulfill both domestic needs and export orders and it has been used in multiple military operations, enhancing its reputation as a reliable long-range strike weapon. In summary, both India's Nearbay missile and the UK's Storm Shadow, both missiles showcase the unique technological advancements of their respective countries, making them critical assets in modern warfare. Which missile do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios?
Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.